and welcome to the Hello and welcome to the virtual dog in the pond. I'm Kelly and for those of you that are old enough to remember Hollyoaks back in the day, I played Zara Morgan. And for those of you that are maybe too young to remember it, stick with it because each week we're going to bring on two guests to talk about their time on the show, what they're up to now and just generally have a little bit of a gossip. So go and get yourselves a drink because this is the dog in the pond after all. And we're going to welcome our two guests for this evening. It's Lee Otway who played Bomb Ed, and Helen Noble, who played Abby Davies. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. How are you both? Uh, I'll, I'll tell good, you. Good, thanks, Kel. Yeah. Yeah, really good. And you've Brilliant. got to drink with you. We have. We have. Perfect. Okay, so let's just dive straight in there. How did you get into Hollyoaks? Oh. Do you Lee, want to... I'll let you go first. Well, <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is really interesting for me because... I see you both a lot, all of the time, but you two haven't seen each other in how long? Oh, God. It's 10 years, isn't it? Is it 10 years? No, it's got to be more than that. It, Probably is, Lee. It's got to be, yeah, it's like 10, 15. It, it, it feels There's less, a difference it's... between 10 and 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that your showbiz age, Lee? Yeah, it, 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 it strangely feels less because we have chatted occasionally. Mm. On, yeah, on and then I think with the power of social media, yeah. it's like really yeah. easy to feel like we only saw each other yesterday. So well, it is. It, it must be 15 years. Wow. So, no, it, it's less because. Go on. Um, you. I hope your memory's better than mine. It, it, you might remember this. You and Graham were doing a play in Skipton about 2007, yeah. 2008. You're uh, right. You it. came to watch. Oh, yes. I remember. Yeah. I do remember. So it's not that long then. Well, it's still, still 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> We've aged so bad. So, go on, Hell. So, you started when you well. were. Oh, go on, Lee. Sorry. You both look beautiful as well tonight. You both look really nice. And He's not changed. Good. <laughs> it never worked on us, Lee. It never did. It never ever worked <laughs> on us. One, I'll give it one last throw of the dice. Um, but I've got to apologise because I'm on, I'm on lockdown at Mum's, so hence where I am. Now, if my mum knows, you've both met my mum before. If she knows that I'm speaking to you two, she'll get all excited. Oh. And she doesn't. She don't understand um, technology, so she'll probably still come in and offer you a cup of tea. Just go along with it. Brilliant. Just say, yeah, 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 Joyce, we'll have a cup of tea. Just oh. But yeah. So, Helen, your audition, how what, what how was it? My audition for Hollyoaks, oh my goodness. Um, so, gosh, we're talking, this was 1999, 2000? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that long ago. Yeah. Um, and yeah, initially I auditioned for the role of Jess. If anybody remembers the role of Jess, she was the prostitute character um, who had a oh, really was it big Frankie? story. The, the actress was Frankie. Actress was Frankie Hoff. Yeah, cracking and, actress. That's right. And she had a um, really big storyline with Paul Denham um, and yeah. Sol character. So I initially auditioned for that role. Um, alongside Carly Stenson, who was a really good friend of mine because we went to school, that still is, because we went to school together. Um, and we both went for that role and neither of us obviously got it. Uh, but Carly at that point was offered the role of Steph. And so she started work almost immediately. And then about two months later, I was asked to audition for Abby. Um, and then, yeah, that was the rest was history really. And was it Dorothy that was doing the casting? Because Dorothy Andrews was kind of the, the main casting director then, wasn't she? Well, she was the only one, wasn't she, really? Yeah, so I was yeah. really lucky to have met Dorothy a number of times before I actually got, got the part. So that was really nice. And Joe Hallows was very much involved. Lovely Joe, uh, series producer at the time, and Phil Redmond. But didn't they have... Didn't they have an issue with your um, your hair, Helg? Yes, they did. <laughs> they did. Thank you for bringing this up. <laughs> this is the first time ever I'm going to have the opportunity to just clarify what went on. Yeah, clear, <laughs> clear it. Just, just get it out there, Helgs. Confess. So I auditioned as 17 year old girl experimenting with my hair. Obviously, I've got still got crazy big hair, but I've just got out the paddling pool, hence why it's stuck on the head. Um, so 
<laughs> no, Helen, you need to tell people that you have children, otherwise that's just weird. Sorry, yeah, I did have <laughs> children, hence I was floating around on an inflatable dolphin about an hour ago in the garden. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, go back to the hair thing. Um, I was experimenting with hair dye at the time, so I was bleach blonde when I went for the audition. And obviously, Hollyoaks at the time wasn't pretty much everybody bleach blonde. Yeah, probably. The 90s? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Joe Hallow said to me at my, during my final recall, she said, um, Helen, would you mind changing up your hair colour? And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, I'll do anything. Anything you want. <laughs> Shave it off. Whatever. Typical actor. Yeah, I can ride a horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> You've done that annually. Rode a few horses. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Joyce is in the room. Yeah, in the next room. <laughs> I, honestly, there's things that I can't do at all on my CV. Just like list of skills and like, you, you just can't do them, can you? But, um, hey, but if you get some chocolate, why not? Well, what, ha what happened to your hair, Hell? So, yeah, basically, I was like, yeah, absolutely. So, once they offered me the job, I was told to go and darken my hair. So I went off to a local hair salon, paid to have it darkened, um, and the girl in the salon took the foils out, and as she kind of revealed the hair colour, it had gone. I can only describe it as ginger, like full-on red ginger. And obviously, I, it wasn't I was odd. very... It wasn't like a nice, beautiful, no, pretty it ginger. Awful. It was like, it was an odd ginger. I it love you, but it was an odd ginger. It wasn't even any tone. There was no tone no. to it. No. It was Didn't just... Do you remember it, Kelly? Can you remember yeah. It? Right. We've got our foot. One of our first ever um, on-set photographs is evidence of that hair. It oh is. God. So it I'm really horrified because I'm like, oh my gosh, just got this massive opportunity to be in Channel 4's Hollyoaks, and I turn up screen debut. <laughs> as a ginger. Not that there's anything wrong with having ginger hair, by the way, because my son has ginger hair, um, and I absolutely love it. But I've just, it's not from me. It wasn't a good, it wasn't a nice one. But I must I also, I've just realised that I've caught myself calling you Helgs, and I must explain that to anyone that's watching. So, um, Helgs and Kelgs, that's like something that we did when we were first joined Hollyoaks and we were 17, and you do things like that where it's like cool names with each other, and like however many didn't years are now. With, is what, sorry? It didn't start off with Kelga. Helga and Helga, and then it's been shortened, Helgs and Kelgs. And uh, even now, however many years on, which we probably won't discuss, um, we still call each other Helgs and Kelgs, and that's why I called you Helgs. And yeah. our partners, uh, your husband calls me Kelgs, and my husband calls you Helgs. So there you go. <laughs> I know, it's stuck. Yeah. It's, Lee, it's so, Lee tell us, tell us yeah. about your audition. Was there anything well, mad about it? Kelgs, Helgs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the first, my first audition was actually for Lee Hunt. Do you know this story? It was for Lee Hunt. No. Yeah. Oh, no, but this is coming back. I seem to remember now this is coming back because didn't you meet Alex at the audition? No. No. No, I'm just Alex, making it up. Alex and I knew each other. We had a mutual friend. Alex was in Where the Heart Is with a friend of mine. So we'd we'd never met, but we we knew who each other were. So it always it was nice when I first started working with Alex. We had a lot in common, and it was nice to kind of already have a friend there. Um, but yeah, my first audition was for the role of Lee, which obviously I didn't get. And I didn't, as I said, I didn't meet Alex at my audition. Then I auditioned for some of the. Um, do you guys remember Hollyoaks moving on? It was like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, for those viewers that might not remember it, it was like, uh, uh, it was a spin-off show, but where some of the long-established characters like Lewis, Ruth and Finn, they, they was it filmed in France, Kelly, am I right in saying that? No idea, Lee. This right. is ridiculous <laughs> that I'm the one that's doing this, like, like, nostalgic look back at the show, and anyone who knows me knows that my long-term memory is shot to pieces. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'll be like, really? Did that really happen? This, uh, there's something telling me it was filmed in France and it was it was kind of their exit storyline I think so it was where Tony was Tony stayed obviously but Finn and Lewis and Ruth so it was just like a late night six parter so I was glad ultimately that I didn't get one of those roles because it wouldn't have been for very long <laughs> um, and then my last audition I had a few a few a few different parts and the last one that I remember auditioning for was do you remember Jamie Nash Stefan Booth's character 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. Which is, you know, looking at us both at the time. I was going to say, you're so different, because you were like, like, when you first started Hollywood, you were you were a boy. You weren't yeah. really were. Well, if you'd put us next to each other, you wouldn't, no. have, you wouldn't have seen it at all. Uh, but I, I remember Steph from my casting, and I, I remember thinking he was very good. You know, like you do, don't you, as actors, you, you look around and you see, kind of, you want to see what the competition is a little bit. So there's a bit of a story behind this. You, you two are going to love this story, actually. <laughs> so... I was re it was a it was a Jamie and Becca, Becca Becca Hayton, Nancy's sister Becca, it was a Jamie and Becca scene. Well are you talking about them like the real people? <laughs> <laughs> they, they are, don't bring me. <laughs> and in this particular scene, um, because it was introducing both characters, and Jamie was um Stephen's character was, was trying to hit it off with a trying to romance her. So we, we, we got paired, like you sometimes do in auditions, to pair you off with someone else. It was someone normally that you've never, never met before. It was an actress called Catherine Holmes. I don't know if she's done much since, but I remember her name because we had a really good audition. And Catherine and I were doing this scene, and you're going to love this story, you two. So there were a kiss in it, right? <laughs> of course there was. So <laughs> I looked at Steph, and Steph wasn't doing the kiss. And I looked at some other people, and they weren't doing the kiss. So, <laughs> so I said to Catherine, I said, look, if we want to make a good impression, we've got to do this kiss. And we were like, well, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is if it, you know, it feels organic, if it feels right to do, we'll do it. So we rehearsed it a couple of times. We obviously didn't, we didn't rehearse the kiss or anything, but we went in and it was one of those auditions and you guys obviously will have had them where you know or a read through where you just feel like it, it's gone well you just kind of get that feeling there's that vibe in the room and you think yeah it's it's, it's good and then we did, we actually did the kiss and i remember dorothy saying i can't remember she was just really really positive about it she was saying yeah that was that was really really good you guys and very similar to yourself ellen in that joe uh giles and phil phil was in there as well phil redmond and they were really, really nice and really warm and really friendly. Because like you, I'd met them a few times at that point, And they were really kind of approachable and very, yeah, it was just a nice environment. So I came out of there knowing, knowing I'd had a good option. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then, yeah, probably similar story to yourselves. About a week or so later, I got a phone call saying I've not got that role, but they were considering me for, for something else. And you, you, you both kind of spent a long time there, didn't you? How long, How many years you were you there for at Hollyoaks? I think I was there for I six. Think, yeah, so I was there from, I think I officially started just at the end of 2000, I think. And then I left in 2005. So where did you slot into that, Lee? Because you so were I, you came after me, didn't you? I did. I think I actually joined about two years after you, Kelly, which is really? which sounds crazy, yeah, because yeah. we all kind of formed this nucleus of a group, didn't we, where we all yeah. like, spent so much time together when we were yeah. there. I joined in 2001. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't long was after me. Was it not? Um, no. And then you both went back. You both went back and did a, another stint. Yeah, yeah, but I only went back very briefly, like I think for about, I think it was maybe two episodes. And it wasn't really very long after I'd actually left. Jail. Oh, really? So there wasn't much of a difference? Because I think um, some people have said, and I won't mention any names, but that they have they were there when kind of we were there and it was the old school lot. And like you said, Lee, there was a, a real group of us that were that were great friends. And then they've gone back and maybe it's not quite the same. Um, I mean, the last time I went back to chime in there, I guess, was 2011, so a bit more recent. But yeah, again, it was only for a couple of a couple of episodes, really. Um, I mean, I'm always going to compare it to how <laughs> we were because we, 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 I think we had such a, as you said, Kel, we had such a good bond, and there were there were us three, um, Alex who played Lee. Um, Gemma, Gemma Lisa, Harley, Darley, uh, Ben who played Cameron, uh, Jamie then, Luke, Jamie Luke, Jonathan who played Brian for a while. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we were like this, this, this young group who, I mean, I was nineteen when I started, in, in my kind of mid twenties when I left. So we, it was quite an important 
period yeah. of time. Yeah, I always think old. that. I always think it was kind of like our coming of age years. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was. But um, we, I think at the time we didn't really realise that. No. It was, it was like going to answer, uni. Yeah. It was like going to uni but doing it on, like, national television. Yeah. <laughs> All these like all the like little experiences like I remember just I remember when you met Adam actually Kelly. I remember, I remember like, this. Yeah. Me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's just so so my husband now, Adam, yeah. um yeah. I'd met him and I, I was in work the next day and I said to Lee, I've met this guy. She said I and, really like him. Okay. And obviously, it. obviously she came to me for relationship yeah. advice because hey, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Um, yeah, but so, you can't even repeat what you said. No, I can't. I can't. Although you repeated it in class. I remember filming with you all day, Kel. Like, and you did not, in between takes, I mean, we were always, we were always very professional. We, we were, were always, all of our little core group of people were really professional. And I think the directors were kind of grateful when we had a full day of us lot. Yeah. There was this, there was this one day, Helen. But at the same time, <laughs> we, did, we did have a laugh and we did giggle and we were always a bit cheeky. Like, yeah. all the time. But that day, Kel, you did not shut up about Adam. No, I and think I came in. Hell, I think we were like, oh, I hope she gets together with this bloke because I feel like I know him inside out. Yeah. yeah Helgs, I came in and I said, um, Helgs, I've hardly had any sleep. I've been up chatting all night and I don't know my lines. <laughs> <laughs> and it just felt like so bad. The amount of people that had turned up on that show and kind of, you know, not known yeah, the lines. And the one so day that I didn't, I was yeah. like, oh my God. You were so, always so professional. And that was the one day. One day. So I blame I blame my husband. Kel, we have been married 14 years. So. There you go. Let's Kel, drink do, that. Do you remember yeah. the advice no, that I gave you, by the way? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we can repeat it. No, it's it. a family show. We can't say it. But needless to say, it worked because you've been married 14 years. <laughs> so it was worth that little on set that there day. Thanks for that embarrassment, guys. I'm just going to top my drink up. But yeah, I think just we all experience things like that together, and not just yeah. the fact that because I'd meet, you know, I, I, I met Adam, and we met each other's partners and things, and we we kind of grew up. But not only that, we all shared this experience. I think of, yeah. of Hollyoaks, and we could yeah. all identify with each other because it yeah. was a strange experience to be in, and we could all empathise with each other. We all got it mm -hmm. because we were going all going through the same yeah. wonderful experience. I, I, think. I think all of us as well at the time, I think although we'd had our own sort of individual experience of the industry, like a, a small amount of experience, Hollyoaks was just something else altogether, wasn't it? Like, so we all kind of went into it with very unknown actors, yeah. very, you know, very little experience. We kind of learn our trade on that job, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. I think the fact that we all got on so well together, I think that did translate. Yeah. I think it did. I think it I think it I think it transpired on screen, that energy that we gave across. And mm. I remember, I mean, obviously, we still speak quite a lot, Kelly, you and I, and yeah. I, I come to you for advice quite a lot, but particularly on set, you, you would come straight over. If I did a good take, you wouldn't think twice, you'd come straight over and say, Little Lee, that was good. Or I'd come over to you, or I'd go over yeah. to Helen, or Alex yeah, would yeah. come over to me. We wouldn't even wait to be asked. We'd just yeah. do it to, to yeah. help each other out. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't know if that goes on anymore there. Yeah. But I just know it did for us. And it was great. Yeah. It was like a kind of support group within ourselves, wasn't it? It was a great kind of unit that we had, I think. Yeah. Well, like... should, the, you should have a little uh, spin-off of it, <laughs> of Hollyoaks, with your little group. Well... Well, listen, I've, on that note, what? I've, uh -huh. I've written, because we never had, <laughs> we, we never had, like, a, a goodbye scene, did we, the three of us. So, I, Bob no. never said goodbye to Zara. He never said goodbye yeah, think, to Abby. Wasn't, wasn't our, um, wasn't our... Our goodbye scene, Lee and, um, well, Bomed and Abby, didn't you walk into a room and I was in bed with an extra? No, but that was Lee. Lee did that. Yeah, but you were there at the same time. You both were. Because oh, I've, I've got a picture of us on set together that day. I honestly can't remember that. Yeah. Well, so that, <laughs> was, that was you saying goodbye to Abby. That was it. So this is much more heartfelt. What do you mean? Nice. Do you, what, you, what? I've, I've written a scene. I've written a, the fact. I don't. 
Lee, Lee, I've, re- I've retired from on-screen acting. I only do voiceovers now, mate. You can listen. You can do it one last time. What now? Yeah, yeah. I'll Shut up. So. No, no, honestly. What do you mean? I'll send it to you both on Facebook. It's on a scene. What? It's a. It's a an extra Hollyoaks scene that we never had. <laughs> okay, right. So here we go. So this is Bonnet, Lee, and Abby. One second. Are you serious? You, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, honestly. Yeah, this is a, this is a I scene think that... Kelly, I, blinding us all. No, no, honestly. So, you should you should both have this now. All right, okay, hold on. Get, yeah, 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 no, I've got it. Hang on. Okay. Eh? Interior dog in the pond night. Oh, Lee! No, 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 I'll read the stage directions. Okay. Have you got it? You got it, hell. We're gonna do. We're actually gonna do this. I can't yeah, freaking see it. it. We're do it okay. As, oh, time. hold on, hold on. Are they? Because are they grown up now? They're like grown up no, now. Yeah, this is like as, as as they would be our age now. So, right. So, so okay. this is yeah, as time has elapsed, exactly the same amount of time as from when we were there. Okay. So I as I said, have, have you got it, Helen? I've got it. I was just slightly worried. I need my reading glasses. But hang on. Yeah, I'm going to right. stay right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You've been well, doing this character for years. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so. right. Hold on. I'm coming out of retirement for this, Lee. I haven't acted in God knows how many years. This is this is BAFTA winning moment. You're how fantastic. Is this? You're always right. brilliant. Okay, go, go, go. What? Oh, my God. Okay, you so it. It's a very gentle, very tender, um, quite a nice, sweet little scene. Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay. Interior, dog in the pond night. Abby and Zara are sat having a drink. Both are wearing bikinis. <laughs> well, who, wrote, who wrote this? Lee! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna, gonna take a while. Okay, game face, Helgs. A familiar, good-looking, blonde-haired man enters. <laughs> Hey, Bonhead. Great to see you. Hey, you too. How are you both? Yeah, we're great. You've um, changed. <laughs> yeah, I'm training for Ninja Warrior. I'm up next to this. Oh, right. You smell really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what brings you back to Hollyoaks? The money. Tony's offered me a chef's job in Illinois or whatever it's called nowadays. <laughs> so, what about you two? Um, what brings you back here? Well, I'm visiting Luke. Who? My brother. The one in the wheelchair? No, that's Adam. The, the Luke's me other brother. Oh, I remember Luke, the footballer. Listen, didn't he get... Yes, bum- uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes, bombhead. That's Luke. So... Anyway, I've got a nephew here now. Have I? Have I got a nephew as well? I didn't know that. I've got a nephew here now too, and I thought I'd come and visit for a bit. Oh, yeah, I heard about your nephew. Um, listen, didn't he get... <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, hold on, where am I? Yes, that's Oliver. Anyway, um, Abby said she'd come with me. Yeah, I just wanted to revisit all these happy memories. <laughs> so, um... So, how's your brother, Ben? Dead. Oh, bummer. Sorry, is that an offence? How did he die? Lisa shot him by accident. Well, these things happen. He should have got his helmet out. What? His fireman's helmet. Well, Bonnet, this has been lovely. Did you know it has, hasn't it? <laughs> Look, Bonnet, before you go, there, there's something I need to tell you. You've not become a man, have you? Do you know you slip? <laughs> <laughs> You've not become oh. a man, have you? Do you know I knew there was something different? <laughs> what? No, listen, Bonnet, I've been meaning to tell you for years. <laughs> I really fancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I really fancy you, Bombed. And hang on, I've lost where I was. And I always have. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me too. <gasps> listen, listen. Zara, 
Gary. <laughs> it's still Abby. If you say so. Um, look, whilst I've got to admit, I am a little bit flattered by this. And I have to admit, the thought of a menage or two with you two is something that I have thought a lot about over the years. But listen, <laughs> you both went out with my best mate, Leonta. It, it just won't be right. Hang on, Zara. Hang on, after I moved out of Hollyoaks, did you go out with Lee Hunter? Um, it, it was just like a one-off thing. Travelled the, <gasps> travelled the world with him and everything. Well, you kept this quiet, Zara. Anyway, as I said, girls, I just couldn't do that to my best mate. I've got models. Zara, I can't believe this. You were supposed to be my best friend. I'm going. <laughs> Wait, Gary! I mean, <laughs> Abby! <laughs> was it something I said? Back. There we go. We've still Please. got another way. You're a genius. Anything. That's hilarious. That was award winning. That only you. Only you could write that, Lee. We've also had um, a couple of um, messages come in to say, would you ever consider going back to the dyed blonde mullet look? <laughs> that, that's for Lee, not, not Helen. <laughs> oh, you say the dyed ginger look. Do you know, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but if you if you Google search Bomhead Hollyoaks now, that's the only hairstyle that comes up for him. Do you want me to Would you yeah. like me to share a photograph um, just in case it. people weren't familiar with that look? My you know? word. Look at it. <laughs> My word. There's one. Oh. Do you know, I don't know what I was thinking. And then, do you know, this is this is a true story. This I were I were in London once and um these 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 people came up to me and they were saying, you know what I would like at the time. I had a bit of a I would like a bit of an ego and and these people came up to me and they were going You did it. Lee, <laughs> you really didn't. I honestly did. <laughs> And then my friends with me at the time, they came up to me and they said, look, can, can we have a photograph? Can we have a photograph? And um, I went, yeah, yeah, of course you can, of course you can. And I went to put put my arm around them ready for a photograph. And they went, because you're McFly, aren't you? <laughs> 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 the best Brilliant. story I've ever got. I was always, I'm never, I'm not good in front of the camera. I much prefer to be behind it doing the voices and stuff. And um People used to come up and, and I think after a few years after you left, they'd go, did you go to my school or do I know you? And, and, and Mike, the tech guy, is laughing because this kind of happened to him when we met at um, Manchester School of Acting. He came and he was like, I know her from somewhere. And then my husband said, just say to people, oh, I was in Hollyoaks, you're making it even more awkward. <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. It just feels awful. Yeah. So he said, just do it. So I went... <laughs> I went for like a, just a, a general like hospital appointment for something. I can't even remember what it was, nothing major. And the doctor said to me, I really recognise your face. So I said, oh, it, it might be because I was in Hollyoaks. And you could see on his face that he'd never watched the show. And he just went, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it probably is. <laughs> From that day, I've never said it ever again. And I always go, oh, no, just, I, I don't let go through the rigmarole of, oh, no, I didn't go to that school. No, no, I'm from Salford. No, I've never, I've never been to, <laughs> and it's just like, just for God's sake. The one time you mentioned it. Yeah. I've been like all the way around the house. It's like, no, I didn't go to school with you. No, I didn't come from the same area. No, I didn't have a child at the same time as you and go to play group with you. <laughs> and then eventually, like I just blurt it out like you, Kel, because Adam, Kel's husband, has pretty much always said that to me as well. Like, hell, just, just, just say, say it. it. <laughs> just say it rather than wasting 10 minutes trying to figure out where they know you from. Just say it. And then when you say it, it just backfires in your face every time. Yeah, it's like, just like, uh, no, one yeah. watched it. No, it's not that. No, don't watch it. It's shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I had a, sim a similar thing. Um, and um, so... My friends and I, we were we were at this hotel in Leeds and we had some food and um, we were having a few drinks afterwards. And this, and it was it was when I was doing, when we were doing Ollie Oaks and this, this couple came over and um, really, really nicely dressed, you know, and they, they said, um, excuse me, do you mind if, if we have a photograph? So I went over, yeah. Like that? Oh, Did you walk like that? Yeah, you always <laughs> walk like that, didn't you? Know? <laughs> Strutted over. <laughs> put my arm round them both, and I'm there like that posing. And I'm thinking, nothing's nothing's happening. What, what's going on here? And he, he looked at me and said, so, uh, 
what it is is we've just got married. We just wondered if you if you'd take a photograph of us. Oh no! Oh no! So you put yourself in the in the photo? Yeah, I, I thought they wanted a photograph. Well. My mates were in hysterics. They still remind me of that to this day. You've yeah. been caught out as well on Facebook this week, Lee, because <laughs> I shared it on my personal Facebook page and a friend of my sister commented going, he owes me a subway. Do you yeah, want to explain please. why you owe my sister's friend a subway? I have no idea. It was him, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I think... I think... This poor girl, I don't think that I know her, but it just popped up on my Facebook as my sister's friend. So I think he, even I must have got chatting on a night out around Leeds. <laughs> and um, and I and she's obviously mentioned that she knew your sister. So I've then gone, oh, it's fine, Eve, yeah. Oh, come back to my apartment, we'll have a few drinks. Like, you know, <laughs> being silly. And it turns out that she's she's come back to the apartment and I've just gone, gone to them. <laughs> Like being dead, being dead ignorant and dead rude, so it's not a, not a great story. Well, I left. Yes, yeah, she says yeah, you left them and they played play computer right. games. Yeah, I just left. left you play. always did have play with the ladies, didn't you, Lee? Smooth, smooth. Was that, what was that? Just two of you? No, her and a friend was it? She was with a friend. Yeah, so I've yeah. come back and I've said, oh, you know, two I'm girls, be, I'll look for it. Be a really good I was in Hollyoaks, you know. <laughs> I'll get I'll get my mullet out. <laughs> so I'll so take yeah, and then I've just just gone to bed. So and sorry, then, Eve. I'm yeah, so you sorry. owe her a subway. I'm, I'm sure she'll get a order in if she's watching. Oh, um, yeah. Helks. Yeah. What what um what happened in Walkabout? Oh, I knew this were going to come. <laughs> I was waiting, I'd be waiting for this. Well, you know, I checked if there was anything you didn't want to talk about, and uh, this was never mentioned. Look, it's, it's in my show notes. No mention. <laughs> I'll let Helen like, talk about this. Don't talk about, don't this. Talk I about Wolf. <laughs> I think we've all forgotten this actually happened. And until I was reminiscing, like literally this week, trying to find. He's gone like, really red. <laughs> and stuff of like us guys all together. So I was in the loft finding stuff and I found a leavers book. You know, like when you leave school, everybody signs a book. Mm-hmm. Well, when I left Hollyoaks, I had a really match. I don't know whether you guys remember my leaving party, but it was like a big event. You guys like really went to town and threw me this incredible party um and yeah I've got this really lovely book of all these beautiful sort of sentimental messages from the crew the cast everyone that we work with at the time and then there's one that I found from you Lee yeah <clears throat> um, <laughs> you got it there can we share it can we I, I know uh, yeah I, I think you can <laughs> you can share it Hell, I think you just put your finger over a little bit of it um I, I don't got think it. you can see it haven't got it right here go it's on what does it say I carry it not? around um, it like no. <laughs> <laughs> no it was just like helen i've had such a lovely time working with you yeah, we've had exactly yes time. we've and created so many lovely memories yeah. and, a and that was it and that was all it said particularly really liked the snog that we had in walkabout in 2002 <laughs> Okay. And just to clarify, this was this was Helen and Lee, not not Abby and, and Bomed. <laughs> you know, right? And you're a very beautiful woman, Helen, and you you always have been. I was. I'm a man now. You're very beautiful. <laughs> you're yeah, Gary. And we were both mortal. <laughs> we were both what? You know, we were both just. I think we'd had a lot to leathered. drink. We were yeah, just. We were both leathered. Leathered. Yeah, and then but like, you know what? And like the, that didn't the, happen. Thing about it was, was, like, like that, that wasn't a thing though. It was just like we kind of did it, and then we kind of laughed about it after. Yeah, well, we spoke. Yeah. I remember like we spoke about it the next day, and it was like we were just back to being best mates again. Yeah. And I think <laughs> no, that's what it's like, wasn't it? But it was like uh, you just smoked many of your best mates, Lee. Like, just. <laughs> Is this really awkward for you because your girlfriend's in the room? She's sat there. She's I know she is. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're married. Yeah, we have to clear this up. This was like years ago. This was pre any kind of relationships. Well, like, look, look Graham like, messaged yesterday, didn't he? I was like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? My husband sent Lee, like, a, a, a message. Uh, uh, and Lee was like, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I'm like, what are you apologising for? 
No, I think that and that's <laughs> that whole group of us. I mean, we, didn't, we didn't make a habit of snogging each other all the time. <laughs> no, no. It wasn't like incest. That would just be really weird. Yeah. That would be but, weird. Then, but then I think Abby and Bomet did actually have a snog in the show, didn't they? Yeah, but that was only because. Um, what have you like create that? jealous or make Lee jealous or something? I can't oh, remember. It was. That was probably what you probably. Oh, no, it wasn't. I know. I know what it was. It was because um, Bombed wanted to become a priest, right? And all his mates. Yeah. All his mates. <laughs> was this before or after his dead mum was in the wardrobe? <laughs> Just <laughs> all the best storylines. <laughs> and, and all his mates. Said, um, you, you don't want to become a priest, so mm. Abby thought she'd try and convince him not to be a priest by kissing him because priests are supposed to be celibate. And that was the storyline. Ah, that's that. That is now coming flooding back. Yes, I seem to remember that now. But yeah. there was a, there was a lot of stuff that kind of a lot of fun that happened behind the scenes, wasn't there? That maybe those people that are watching now they they kind of didn't kind of get. And I remember one of the ones, Helen, was when we did a calendar shoot. <laughs> oh yeah. Happened. It was like all lovely and glamorous, and it was it was never something that we really ever. We, wanted we didn't to really do. enjoy it, did we? we? We didn't want to be part of it, but it was it was part and parcel of the show, I suppose. <laughs> um, and we went, and these these photographs were beautiful, and this villa that they shot the the stuff in was just the most beautiful villa you've ever seen in your it life. Was, it was Mallorca, wasn't it? They flew us. Yeah, to yeah, and then the villa that we actually. <laughs> that we actually stayed in, that Helen and I stayed in, was a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> and we arrived, and we arrived in the evening, and there was like, and it was hot, and there was no drinks in the fridge, like not even like water in the fridge, was the hell? Cause it was... No, like, I don't know odd. what happened. It was, a bit, it was a weird experience. Like, look, I look back on it now and laugh so much about how it was, but it, it was like, yeah, the actual photo shoot was in this incredible, like, five-star luxurious villa and then god knows where we were we were like in the middle of nowhere there was no shops there was no signal I remember we had like really like old mobile phones couldn't get signal it was like <laughs> and baking then, hot and you, then the at actual least you guys had that we i remember when i was there oh, the yeah. one I did was, it was it was at liverpool docks yeah well the boys weren't <laughs> trusted to go abroad the they, football yeah, trips can, were can, bad enough okay um, we yeah, the boys were um, mm. Alton Towers. Yeah, it was in we like did. a wasn't it in like a rundown warehouse? Yeah, rundown yeah. warehouse. Was going to be all all the it yeah. wasn't all glamorous because actually the the shots that we did and I think one of the shots that I did is me like holding some um like bamboo shoot branches or like as if I'm in a frigging jungle <laughs> or something, and it was by the side of a frigging motorway. And we were like losing the light, and they're obviously, the, you know, the guys that are shooting the calendar are wanting to put all their effort into the the fit girls, and I'm just holding some bloody bamboo shoes, going, oh, I'm on the side of the motorway. It took about ten minutes to get the start. They're like, yeah, it's fine, Kelly, it's brilliant. We've got December. No one looks at the calendar then. <laughs> oh, but yeah, any, any kind of juicy gossip, any stories that you've got for us? Okay, well. Um... Yeah, I was. I think we've covered the juiciest, don't you? What the kiss? Was it juicy we... hell? Well, no. oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so we were doing, and we've spoke. We, you and I have spoke about this before, Kelly. So do you remember Helen when we were doing those scenes in? Um, so for those Holly Oaks viewers who weren't familiar with it, or those that maybe can't remember, it was all our characters. I think it was like a New Year's Eve, and we went to Wales, didn't we? And we stayed at a cabin in the woods. Do you remember that? Uh, yes, I did. The cabin in the woods, yeah. Coming yeah. back, yeah. And it was. It we were there just... for about a week, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, that we just us we for about a week. It was well, awesome. Well, no one else, obviously, no one else needed to use that location. Whereas, yeah. obviously, on a soap, normally you straight in and out. Someone else, yeah. the only thing has got to get in. Well, we just made the most of it, and they just said, "Look, we'll film as much as we can there." And Alistair Hallam was the director. Do you remember Alistair? Yeah. And Alistair used to like get loads of footage, really good director. He used to just get lo really overshoot everything. But um, I think he must have said, look, we'll kind of, we'll stay over there. So, yeah, we spent, as you said, pretty much a week at this place. And I always kind of remember that I always think about that time as being like my New Year's, actually my actual New Year's Eve, even though it was from like, Abby and Zara's. It was weird because we had such a good time. So anyway, like, there, was, there was no alcohol because we were on set. 
right? Yeah, but it was, it was still good fun. It was it was just great. It was because we yeah. had that party atmosphere and that kind of camera. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, I remember this scene where we were all walking through the woods and they'd shot it on um, on a like it was a re, like an extreme wide shot and the camera was in front of us so we were really quite far away and because there were quite a big group of us Alex and I Alex Carter who, who, for for those viewers who, who might not know people by the by the real names Alex who played Lee Hunter Alex and I were at the back so you so the camera couldn't really see what we were doing we were just mics <laughs> up for dialogue so <laughs> there was an actress um, Tiffany Mulhern who played. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, she was lovely. Yeah, I really liked Sif. She was she was brilliant. Um, but Alex and I like we're just like naughty school kids, weren't we? A lot of the time, <laughs> and we were we got these we got these ba like bamboo shoes from the woods. <laughs> Hold on, were they from the calendar shoe in Mallorca? Yeah, no. probably, probably <laughs> same ones. <laughs> yeah, I have these. <laughs> <laughs> so we so we walking through the woods, and because we were at the back and no one could see us, and the camera couldn't pick us up. We were whipping each other while we were trying to deliver us lines. <laughs> so, like, Bonhead's line would be like, I'd be saying, do you know, it's lovely around here. <laughs> like <laughs> and, then, and then Lee's next dialogue would be, do you know, guys, I think we should say somewhere over there. <laughs> it was like that. It was ridiculous. Anyway, so we got a bit carried away, the two of us, and, and we whipped Tiff, like, just, just messing around. Um, and... and Tiff starts to cry. <laughs> so I'm like, Alex and I then start. Um, this is all this is during the scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 the scene, then, I'm reliving this. Alistair, Alistair Sharp would cut. So then that was when kind of Tiffany started to bless her, started to get a bit emotional. I'm like, oh God, I mean, I've done this too hard here. So Alex and I are, are like, just, and I'm like, because. And we're thinking as soon as anyone kind of catches a glimpse in the gallery of what we've just done, you know, the makeup are going to have to come out and we're going to have to halt filming and we're going to be in trouble. So Alex and I are just, pe we're just um, pecking over and saying, no, no, it's okay. It's good fun. We've been doing it to each other all day. <laughs> <laughs> and then at one point we were panicking. We were that desperate that we were both going, go on, you whip us now. You it was. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Anyway, bless her. She was all right then. She took it in good faith. And I, I did really like working with Tip. I thought she were she were great. But as I said, that whole group of us. Ben Gerard was there as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Ben, I don't know. Was that um was that wood scene? I, I vaguely remember. Um, they decided to put um I think it was Abby and Zara in a car together, like driving in a woods, and um. I wear contact lenses or glasses, but at the time I'd not discovered contact lenses. So we got in the car, and Ross was the first. We got in the car, and um, I said to you, was sat in the car next to me, Helga. I didn't think it was you. And I said to you, um, I can't, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to drive the car like about a meter from the camera and i think it was carl pollard on camera and i thought oh god no i don't want to run carl pollard over but i literally had to drive this car without my glasses on because zara didn't wear glasses and not being able to see zara even drive i don't know i think it was like because she went through a stage i think when she had driving lessons or something I don't know. That, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure Mr. C gave Zara more. Yes, she oh, yes. Yeah. He did. But I he remember it being in like a woods. Bizarre. Absolutely know. bizarre. I think we've had some more um, questions. They're all saying, Lee's embarrassed. Lee, keep drinking. <laughs> we did. Yeah, we and then Alex Carter has said, <laughs> we did not whip Tiff. Lee Otway yes, whipped Tiff. Did. Yes, oh, you're put in your place. No, it wasn't it's me. all right, Lee. I'm uh, not taking all the blame for this, Alex. <laughs> Alex, I if you're watching, not. you can put the story right because you're on next week, aren't you? So, uh, so okay. <laughs> Alex can dish all the dirt yeah. on you next week, Lee. We will hear Alex's version. Yeah, I'm events. sure we will. I'm sure we will. So, moving on from Hollyoaks, what what are you guys? What mm. did you do immediately after? What are you up to now, Lee? Do you want to take this, Helen, or jump? Go on, Lee. Okay, so okay. after after Hollyoaks, I um I really I'll be honest with you, I really struggled to to, to get acting work. Because you're still acting now, aren't you? Yeah, you're like full yeah. on, like committed to the I'm acting. Waiting. Sorry to interrupt. This is where we all go and pour ourselves another drink. Yeah, I've got mine here. <laughs> I've, I've, I've got an ice bucket. <laughs> so um so yeah, I think 
um, this is something that you and I have spoken about, Kel, but the last kind of six months of Hollyoaks, I, um, I felt like, I felt like my level of professionalism went, uh, went astray a little bit. My conduct wasn't great. So you say this, but I don't remember. And I think what you, you know, what you have to remember is that as a group, and we're all laughing now about the stories, but as a group and that tight knit group that we're, we're talking about, we were for our age, we were probably one of the most professional kind of group of actors on that show. I think, I think we were, I think for me personally, I was. For the Apart first from when you were whipping Tiffany with bamboo. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> but kind of the last, the last kind of year, what it was is in short, I, uh, I, I started thinking too much about myself rather than the character and started mm enjoying attention and my ego got out of control I think and I just felt like all my prep and all my script analysis and everything I wasn't as good with my lines as I should have been <laughs> and because I wasn't doing those things that I've done for years that I prided myself on I then became unhappy with myself so it was a bit like a like an onward spiral really yeah so that kind of led on to when I when I kind of left Hollyoaks I was still real, I'm, I'm cringe telling you guys this story now, but I was still really like more wanting attention than anything else. So like the things I did, like I did Love Island and, mm. and some reality TV shows and things that maybe as an actor, I, sh I don't regret anything. I think you've got to go through no. those experiences. But I think that um, some of the choices I made I wouldn't have made those same choices a year or two previously. It it's just... really interesting though, because you look you look mm. back on that quite negatively. But you you won some of those shows, didn't you? Not the Love Island. We'll just we'll just put that in the box and leave it there. But like the Superstar, <laughs> Superstar, and 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 or, and you know, Celebrity Stars in Their Eyes. You yeah. did really well was, on them. I was okay on them, but I just think yeah, I, I did okay in them but it wasn't acting. I mean yeah um, yeah. And for me personally, I felt like my conduct not just as i said in the last six months of work my last six months my, my conduct in general wasn't great and my ego had kind of got out of control really i look back at it now and it was kind of i guess it's an easy trap to for, for especially as you said kelly the age we were i guess mm -hmm. it was an easy trap to fall into but i feel like it was something that i needed to to kind of do so following mm -hmm. on from that i think for the for the next few years, I mean, I don't know how you guys found it, but for the next few years after Hollyoaks, um, and maybe it was because of my conduct, I think more so on Love Island than anything else, I really struggled to get seen. Leah, I don't think you should reproach yourself about that. Like, just you from... Know. No, like, I was very similar to you. I struggled when I came out of the show. I think it was, you know, the fact we came out of such a high-profile soap. We've been in it for such a long time. And... Personally, for me, I was flooded with opportunities in terms of auditions, really brilliant auditions. I had a great agent, um, but I ended up having such great opportunities that my competition at the time were other actors who had got even more experience than, than me or were higher profile. Um, so I was always kind of seen as the Hollyoaks girl. Yeah. yeah. Comparison. So... I don't, it's it's awful to say because I think working on the show, we know how much work went into that from mm -hmm. the perspective of the cast, the crew, everybody, the writers, the directors, like everybody worked so hard. But I think it was at that time when the industry maybe didn't give it the the credit that it was due. Yeah, yeah, I, I you guess. Know, I mean, it, was, it was difficult like to walk into an audition as a Hollyoaks girl like, I was so proud of my experience yeah. but I was almost made to feel like I shouldn't be proud of it which that's is right. really shame that's right um yeah and very very much like yourself Ellen I was very proud of my time there I mean we kind of yeah. when we were at the show I mean Kelly you might have been even though it was once a week but I think twice when, I think it was yeah we went so, from it being two times a week to like five times a week which yeah, is unreal we and, and they, like, didn't, so, they didn't, like, double the cast either. It was that cast took yeah. it from kind of two to five. So, mm. There's no one. And I think, generally, we are the best country in the world. If you watch soaps from other countries or continuous serial dramas from other countries, we are the best country in the world at doing that. And and Hollyoaks, at the time, it was it was hard work, but it was great. It was wonderful. I think 
kind of that period that we were there, I think, was the catalyst for kind of what it's become now. So, so hold on, you're, was... you're taking the credit <laughs> for the success that Hollyoaks has. So it's got all the credit that it's got now and all the awards because you played Bombhead. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's no. what I just did. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, you off, I'm joking. No, but the, I think the time that we were there, yes, was was particularly. As I said, it went from we went from twice a week, didn't it? Three times a week, well, yeah, well, yeah. five times a week. So it was an interesting time to to be part of that show, you know. And it was also like you, Lee. You did reality TV shows. Like I, I was kind of steered clear away from them. So my well, co- hell, so that's not quite true. Didn't we you do have- MasterChef? Celebrity uh, Master Chef. No, I didn't know. You were totally wrong. I did Ready Study Cook with Ready, Sarah Dodds. Same that was, thing. That yeah. No, that's, that's a reality show. show. That's a game show. Oh, it's the same thing. You were there as a celebrity. You've got the plate in your kitchen. Well, that's <laughs> true. But <laughs> you, think you both actually have got musical theatre backgrounds and singing backgrounds, haven't you? Because, Lee, when you left, you set up a band. That's right, yeah. So, and it, I'll be honest with you, Kel. It, it wasn't through choice. It was just that I wasn't getting the auditions. And I remember my agent kind of saying to me at the time, look, you, I can't get you seen. She said, if yeah, people could right. see you, if we could get in front of people, they'd see that you, you, you're obviously not the same person, but I can't even get you in front yeah. of them. Lynn, so you're going to have to try and do other things. So, yeah, so I, I started singing for a while in a band. But you'd always uh, sang, hadn't you? Yeah, you've got a cracking voice. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You have thank got you. a cracking voice. I seem That's to remember good. we did singing and stuff. When we were in Hollyoaks. We used to do like, do you remember we used to do like these concerts, didn't we, ever so often? Yeah. Like, we'd all like sing like charity charity events and stuff. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't Did sing. N- no, I think I can sing when I've had, um, <laughs> but, um, my singing's about as good as my dancing. So I'll just leave that there and let you two do the musical <laughs> theatre and stuff. Well, when I've, um, as I said, when I've been to see Helen in things, Helen, you've been fantastic. Thanks, and Graham, obviously, you, as well, you brilliant. Too. You're like, you're like fangirling over each other. The question was, what are you doing now? <laughs> no one wants to watch you two being nice to each other and snogging again. <laughs> I just want to know what you're doing now. So I work in schools, colleges and universities. I teach drama as well to, for a couple of different companies. Um, but, yeah, I work for um, uh, the companies that I work for. We teach... Essentially, I mean, it started off with a drama background, but essentially now we teach life skills. So we teach young people the values of time management, job delegation, leadership skills, communication skills, confidence skills. And it's things that, um, that uh, you know, it's really important and they, get, they do get a lot from it. You're making it sound very worthy, but actually you are a champion of young people. You really are. Bless you. You well, really are. They, 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 they do enjoy it. And it, it, it is very, it is very good, and um, and I love it as well. But you know, I still audition. I still want to act. Uh, yes. Uh, well, you so so Lee and I see each other usually when we're not in lockdown weekly, yeah. because Lee comes to the Manchester School of Acting, which is where I coach. I've been coaching there now for God twelve years, something like that. Um, and I must say, Lee, you've always been a. I'm fangirling over you now, aren't I? You've always been a very good actor, <laughs> but I think all of your things that you've had going on have kind of helped you there. So you should get yeah. the success that you deserve. Bless you. I think. I mean, for me personally, I feel like since I've been coming to you, how long, Cal? About three years now? Four years, maybe three years? Maybe not. Don't that. know. But I feel like I've learned more in the last three years. From yourself, Mark, and Dan, than I did in the. Let, let's not let's not mention Dan. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> he might be watching this. <laughs> he's uh, he's so good. Better things to do, I think. <laughs> some, um, some of your students are watching this tonight because they messaged me earlier on. By oh way. really? Yeah. Oh no! We get quest- yeah. get your questions uh, in. So yeah. did everyone, will, if, if we will, have got any will. viewers, if you get your questions in, because it's going to come time to question time soon at the end. So any questions you want to ask Lee or Helen, get them in. And so, Kelly. Kelly yeah. has your questions too. Helgs, yeah. so you left you left Hollyoaks and you did like Panto. Was that the first thing that you did? Yeah. there's a okay. story behind this, isn't there? There was a, there was a guy, wasn't there, in your Panto? Uh, no, well... Why is it all, always <laughs> You and guys don't know how because you tell me. <laughs> well, I did panto as soon as I came out of the show. I think I left the show in August. 
Mm-hmm. And then I pretty much, I think it, like October, I started rehearsing for Panto. Um, and that was you know, an amazing experience because I'd always, I think before I landed my Hollyoaks opportunity and obviously spent a lot longer in the show than I ever imagined would happen. Um, like theatre was really where I want, I thought I was going to go. I thought I was going to go off to drama school and train and I, I wanted to do acting and musical theatre. So yeah, doing Panto, like I was booked to do the Manchester Opera House Panto, which was an amazing opportunity for me being from just outside Manchester. That was the theatre I grew up going, watching all the shows. So to actually kind of headline that Panto was amazing. Yeah. Um, but then it was like me being suddenly thrown back onto stage, you know, having been on screen for five years. Like, it was quite a scary prospect. But, yeah, that was an amazing experience. And then the following year, um, I was booked to do it again down in Plymouth, the, the lovely Plymouth Theatre Royal. It wasn't really meant to happen because my agent was kind of steering me away from doing Panto a second time. Um, but then literally about three weeks before the show or three weeks before the rehearsal started, I got a call from my agent saying um, this, the actress had had to pull out who was originally playing the role and was, was I available, which I was, um, and ended up going down there. And the same thing happened for a certain Graham Tudor who um, wasn't meant to do that show. Um, oh, really? I didn't know that. So oh. let's just set everyone at home. Great. So Helen, even though all of the stuff that we've put out there has been Helen Noble, she is actually yes. Helen Tudor. I am Helen Tudor now. <laughs> so, sorry, Helen. Uh, you've Helen been out for a good few years. <laughs> um, but so, so Graham Tudor was the guy that wasn't supposed to be doing the pantomime, but did. And yeah. you met on that panto. Yeah, so it was kind of weird because neither of us were meant to do it. And then we just kind of ended up in Plymouth and we were... F- furthest away from all of our family and friends over Christmas what do you do <laughs> well apparently you were um, <laughs> you take <laughs> <off> his advice <laughs> uh, it's a lovely time we got married twice a day for two months so we decided to make it a thing there we go. and how, how long have you been married we've been married 10 years like two weeks ago was our 10 year wedding anniversary oh, anniversary but yeah. also you then you then set up tread yeah so between us we were both like jobbing actors at the time gray was in the west end um gray had a, a really successful west end um musical theater career hold on um, he was he was <laughs> joseph and he keeps threatening to bring his joseph coat out so uh, i can put it on and do the joseph mega mix after uh, a bottle of prosecco don't worry tell at my house i've locked him under the stairs tonight so don't worry he's not <laughs> coming up oh he could do a turn for us in his coat Get oh, the cat no. out, Graham. Yeah. No. I have been locked down with the guy for however many weeks now. I've heard enough Joseph for a lifetime. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, what was I saying? Slight diversion onto my husband. But, yeah, so anyway, we relocated back up to Liverpool together because Gray, unfortunately, um, he suffered a really nasty back injury in the West End in the show Mamma Mia. Um, I was touring at the time and I already had a place up here in Liverpool that I'd bought when I was in Hollyoaks Um, and so we kind of decided we both needed to come out of London. He didn't really know what was happening with his career at the time. So we came back north and we decided that we were going to launch a theatre school um, and that was in 2007. And yeah, so Tread is my theatre school that I run with Graham and it's, yeah, it's still going strong. Um, we're 13 years in now, we're a theatre school, we're a production company. I was going to say that, That's I think the beauty of what you do is that you, you're you constantly working towards a production. So I've, I've been and seen one of your productions with your kids and they they all just love it. And you do it yeah. from like really, really small, don't you? Yeah, we go from really small. They, they can join from the age of four. Um, yeah. We teach students all the way up to we've had like 25, 26 year olds who still come. Um, and I think probably our proudest story would be that we have um, three boys who joined in 2007. Three boys, they were really little when they joined and they have still, well, one of them left last year to go on to university. Um, the other two are still with us. So we've been running for what, 13 years? Wow. And they still come. So that like for us, that's, you know, we've kind of become their like second 
parents, really. They call us like their theatre parents, their stagey parents. <laughs> Um, so you are Mr. and Mrs. Showbiz. You literally are. <laughs> I remember one night that the four of us, so you and and Gray and and me and Adam, went out for a night out in Manchester. And who had the shoes? Was it Adam? My husband um, had some new shoes. Had some on. Nice new shoes. Yeah. Yeah. And so the song "New Shoes" was being sung by you and Gray like the whole oh, night. For a teeny song. The what? Paolo, it was Paolo Nettini's song. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't going to sing it, am I, hell? Because that's just... Lee, not. can you sing Go on, Lee. Do us a turn. What, what, does it, what does it go like? Which song? New Shoes. <laughs> You'll know it if you hear it. I got my new shoes on. And then, then, then. That's, I don't know it. We were all very well oiled in a black cab, and I remember Graham just going, Stop! And we were like, What's going on? And he got out of the back black cab, I think it was outside the palace or the opera house, and he was like, That's me! And it, he was him on a poster on the oh. side of the theatre. And I think that was like the first night we'd been out with you both, and me and Adam were like, Oh my God. I don't even remember that. Wow, yeah. and I stayed, I stayed with him. You stayed with him, right. and we like like had we've had to, our children at the same time, haven't we? Our children are very similar ages, so yeah. I think last time last time we saw you, didn't wasn't it when you came and stayed at our house? Oh, we had a sleepover. Had a few months yeah, ago, a sleepover. Yeah. Like everyone, family. It's not just like <laughs> that would be weird if it was just Helen and Graham came for a sleepover. <laughs> like they brought their children. It wasn't like that kind of sleepover. And um, they brought their children, and we all had fun and a nice little play. Um, yeah, and it was no, quite that- nice. Been, that has been really lovely because I think for you and I, Cal, like we both sort of came out of the industry around the time that we were having babies as well. So, and just randomly, we've ended up having two children like pretty much at the same time as each yeah. other. So our kids are the same age and our kids play and get on, and thank God. I, I remember my uh, being pregnant with George and I'm always very huge when I'm pregnant and I think it was my final um I went down to London to do a, a voice recording I think it was for I think it was for like Sony or something and I remember like waddling along because I'm only short anyway so it always looks worse doesn't it it was like a waddle and I saw this guy who was meeting me to do this recording I saw his face and you just saw his face go oh my fucking god <laughs> like he was so shocked that this like waddling woman was coming I was like I am it's do the voiceover and he was like oh <laughs> my god so but we had our children at very similar times didn't we both of them yeah so, so we went through that whole kind of mummy mom thing. stuff <laughs> mom stuff we'll just call it that, that mom that's stuff. time of our lives where we're both like what the hell do we do yeah what so, how just I started to come in there, girls. Well, how many years of friendship is it for you two now? Would you said 1999? So, um, yeah, no, 20, yeah, 19, so yeah, 21 years. Wow, and she yeah. still puts it with me. Can I just share this photograph no. of your younger years with you've everyone? Shared, so, you've shared enough, there you we can't go. see it. So, oh, it's it's can you see that? No, no, that way. Oh, oh, a- oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Those were delightful. Yeah, there's there's a lot of those pictures knocking about. Like Cabbage Patch dolls. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. And also, I'm going to share this one with everyone as well. This was on. I don't know how I've seen this, but this was on a on a girls' uh, meal. You might have been. I think it's it's like a cast meal. Um, So this is all the female cast of Hollyoaks. Can you see that? No, you need to see. No. Tilt it. It's very this is terrible. He's te- he's just supposed to be a filmmaker. Oh, hang on. What, what's he gone? Oh oh is that oh. Like... No. no, you need to tilt it so that the the back of the. <laughs> is that any this is hilarious. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, kind of. Keep keep tilting, maybe. The other way though. So the top of it's pointing the camp there. Oh, uh, mm. yeah. It just looks well, like a load of people getting drunk at a table there. Like. Well, I, I appreciate. Focus on that. What? Which is how unimpressed. Know. Helen was with. She's obviously not a Saran Jones fan. I can't even I see, see it. Saran, yeah, you can see that it's, Helen's like, yeah. You can't see well, the face. Like a big That's white, right. white ghost. <laughs> yeah, he's still, he's still lighting. Sorry, guys. You used guys. to tan, Helen. You used to tan a lot. I remember that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to tell you my fake tan story because obviously the hair thing was a thing. Um, the ginger hair. Um, that by like what was weird by my third episode, I was bleach blonde again. Because basically the dye had faded gradually. 
So over like my first maybe seven or eight episodes of the show, my hair changed color in every episode, which from a continuity point of view, yeah, was like nightmare. such a nightmare. But nobody pulled me up on it. I think they realized it was just a mess and they were like, actually, let's just keep her blonde. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've got some we've got some questions that have come in. Oh, go on. So the first question is actually from my sister. She may be our only viewer. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> and she says, "Who was your favourite character other than your own?" Oh, that's a really good Ooh. question. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Ku. Okay, so Ooh. can I answer this one? Go yeah. On. Oh. So I and say Abby Davies, obviously. <laughs> Gary Davies. Well, well, when um, I used to watch Holly Oaks before I was in it, so when I remember you guys being in it before before I joined, and my probably favourite character prior to being in it was Jambo. I thought Jambo was a good character. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, I was I was a massive Holly Oaks fan, and I remember once. Um, my friends and I, my friend was going to university in Liverpool and as we were driving from Yorkshire where I lived to, to Liverpool, we passed the sign for Chester mm-hmm. and I was like, oh God, that's for Hollyoaks. I thought it was from Chester, <laughs> obviously, at the time. I said, oh, that, we might go see Lewis and Ruth and Zara well, you put, and Abby. Put your light back on, Lee. I can't see you. Can you not see me? Go on. No, put your light back on. She's, she's, she's in charge of lighting, is she? <laughs> <laughs> Doing a much better job than me. Is that is that better? Uh, you look a bit like the, the the tango man, but yeah, we're get, we're getting that that's right. better. So um, so I was so excited, and I was like, oh, I'll go see all the cast, and I might even bump into Mister C. Anyway, <laughs> are you familiar? You familiar with the storyline that I had where my character was seeing visions of Mister C? Yeah. Okay, so obviously it's long before that. You so, just have the most off the wall storyline ever. But yeah. I was I was so excited by the fact I might see you guys, by the fact I might see Lewis, Ruth, whoever else, and I was particularly excited about about seeing Mr. C. So I said, and my friend said at the time, he said, "Oh, Mr. C, um, he goes drinking in Liverpool at a place called Bar Bar. If you want, Lee, we can go and you might see him." So I was so excited about actually seeing him. Little did I know that about four years later, I'd be the only one who could can see him. <laughs> 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 But I will say this. Um, <coughs> excuse me, Bernie, who played Mr. C, he was uh, he was wonderful to work with. He was brilliant. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was great. We were and, really, uh, really sad when Bernie left. Do you know? And he, he took me under his wing a lot, as did Alex um, when I first joined. Don't sing but... Alex's praises too much. His head's going to be so big next <laughs> week when he when he comes on the show. Do you know? He, he, he did. He really. I think he really did take me under his wing. Um, but Bernie, Bernie did as well, and he were a joy to work with because he was an old pro, he'd been around a while, and he knew the ropes. So, yeah, it was great. So I would say my favourite character before I joined was either Jambo or Mister C. Everyone loved Jambo. Yeah, they were good characters, weren't they? Yeah. And Will Will played him very well. What about you, Helks? God, that's how. Well, I was a bit. I didn't really watch the show before I was in it. Like lots oh, of my just, friends just, did. Just a fair weather, fair weather fan, are you? Yeah. Like I. So although obviously I knew the face of uh, Terry. Who yeah. Ruth, and I knew the face of um, obviously Nick, who plays. Well, well maybe Helps. Maybe you can have the next question. So the oh. next question is from Matt Zena. Hi, Matt. Do you know Matt Lee? I know Matt. He's I know Matt. Mine. Yeah. I uh, yeah. Um, so Matt says. Who used to forget the lines the most out of the three of us? Oh. He's saying that because he thinks it's going to, the answer is going to be me. <laughs> and I would probably say in this instance, he's right. I, I think he yeah. was going to do that. I, reckon, I think we were all pretty tight on our yeah, lines. we were all pretty good, weren't we? Yeah, do you world. remember? No, do you remember the best onset story? Do you remember? So you can't mention her name, okay? So you can't mention her name. But Hollyoaks brought in this girl who who was beautiful. She really was beautiful, but she just didn't get the concept of like being on a set. So we'd film her shot, and she'd be stood there all nice and still. And what the viewer would get would her like be stood there. And then you'd film because Hollyoaks was a single camera, so you only shot on one camera at a time. So then you'd turn all the lighting 
and everything around and you'd film our shot. And she decided at that point that she was going to walk around the whole set. So <laughs> we looked it. like, what, well, we can't follow her with our eye line because that's really not going to match. And I remember it was Cal Pollard again said, Kel, I've, um, I've just put a cross near the camera where your eye line should be because the, the crew knew how bad she just was. Walking this same girl took a poo <laughs> On the set toilet. Yes, 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 she had a poo on the set toilet. It was a. It was a. <laughs> don't, it was a Lee, 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 don't say her name. No, I'm not. You, I'm can, not te- you can text me later. It's, it's, not, later. it's not someone you ever worked with, Helen. It's someone. No, it's not. No, I was going to say, I would have remembered it's that. Someone that Kelly and I worked with. It was in your kind of interval. Uh, and she wasn't okay. having long. But, but it's fine. So yeah. Beth, Beth Gerard and um, Alex Carter are on the chat saying hi and to wash oh, our hands. Hi, Ken. Hi, Alex. Another question from Alec Robinson. And I think I know Alec. Hi, Alec. Um, he said, <laughs> if your characters were coming back but you couldn't play them, which other actors would you like to see replies them? And he, uh, re- replies them. And he says, Lee, you can't pick me, as in you can't pick Alec. I know what he wants me to say. Oh, I know. He wants me to say someone else from class. <laughs> like one of our friends, like Kieran or Kieran or David, um, I'll go with. It, no, it has to be a well-known actor. I can't say someone from our class that just we know. Just me, you, you, Alex, and I. Um, it would come back as Bombard. Like a well-known actor. I don't know. It's not my question. Well, I, I'll jump in and say apparently yeah. Abby Davies is living her life up in Hollywood these days. So I'm going to say, why not? Let's get Meryl Streep back. Imagine if, like, Meryl Streep did Hollyoaks. Yeah. I'd, just be, I'd be made, wouldn't I? Mm-hmm. I yeah, I She replaced me. Meryl's probably a bit busy. Abby actually lives in LA now. That's Does the she? Yeah. yeah, that's the last I heard of her. Because I did a bit of research when I was writing our scene earlier and uh, Steph yeah. mentioned her. And Does, said, what, am I still, like, because I went to, like, save people from the tsunami. What Am I still there? Yeah, Zara's still there. Zara's still... Oh. Um, really? I don't know, cause obviously Luke's back, isn't he? And Oliver. So they've probably mentioned Zara. But well, I, that so that script is the first time that I knew I had um, a nephew. A nephew. Oh, the Morgans are prominent again now. Oh, wait a minute. How, how yeah. old? How old is the nephew? Because that's going to make me feel really frigging old. Sorry, Zara. Your nephew is about eighteen, nineteen years yeah, old. Yeah, because Oliver. it must be Luke's son. Is that right? Yeah, oh, Luke. I think it's Luke so, and uh, Luke so and Mandy, so. There's been, there's been um, a, a reply to the question of who could play you, Lee, and it's from my husband, and my husband says, any actor with a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go with that. Well, Lee, everyone seems to be jumping on the bandwagon of Let's uh, Rib Lee tonight, because uh, Ross Lee. Marshall, who says, I'm good friends with Lee, and my question is, is song? your main oh. passion... Ross Marshall. Oh, I know Ross, yeah. Is your main passion for writing, teaching, singing or acting? In fact, all of you feel free to answer. Great show, by the way. Thanks, Ross. Um, <laughs> I also did lo- a bullet question. No, he's, do you know, he's lovely, he's Ross. But uh, we don't know him, so let's just answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> My main passion is acting. Yeah. M- main passion is acting. It should be. It should yeah. be. And you've just um, recently, haven't you? You've just recently got a, a cracking new agent, a really yeah. good new well, yeah. acting. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, as I said, it's taken a while to start getting seen again. But as of, I did, um, <laughs> I did the syndicate a few years ago. <laughs> Why are you laughing at you two? <laughs> because did, another, another text just, is coming. You carry on with your syndicate story and then I will um, refer to the message. The fact that, Lee, you're so, you're so sincere and so endearing with like every story you tell. <laughs> I saw your syndicate ep- episode and you were cracking in is that. that right? yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, recently, actually, you did a self-tape and I helped you out with your self-tape yeah. and that was stonking. So if anyone's out there listening, Lee is available and he's, and he's bloody good, actually. <laughs> Just don't watch any of the episodes from the celebrity stuff and we'll be fine. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Just give me one those. But no, um, yeah, I, I think acting's always... I mean, I don't know about you, Helen. I know you, you sing as well, but I think act, acting for me is always kind of... Yeah, it's like that's like the true... That's where it comes yeah. from. Yeah, like everything that we do, I think, stems from but, uh, being acting. I don't know what it is for you as well. We are we are teaching, like both of you. But for me personally, like when I'm when I'm teaching, or 
even if I'm doing like a piece of community theatre to 30 or 40 people, I still, that means probably sometimes more to me than what it, what it is doing the syndicate or doctors or Hollyoaks or things I've done since. Yeah. I get more of a buzz from, so I just think, you know, if I still enjoy it, I, I do it out of enjoyment now. And yeah. Whatever yeah. happens is a bonus. Do you know what I mean? That's how I view it nowadays. Hell, it, it, it's really interesting, it. your passion, and I know you say that your passion is acting, but your passion for teaching and getting the best out of your students so your passion for acting has seemed to kind of transcribe to them really like yeah I think so it's something that I always wanted to do probably even when I was with you guys in Hollyoaks I probably because I came from like a youth theatre background like I was part of a youth theatre where I grew up um and I was represented by an agent that that ran the the youth theatre and it was something in a way that I just thought you know what I want to be able to give one day I want to give young people the opportunity to find drama performance whatever that might be because Mm. I just felt like I was believe it or not I was a really shy kid really really shy and through the power of finding my like passion for acting um that's where I found my confidence and where I kind of sounds really deep doesn't it but like where you know you kind of become who you who you're meant to be through that I don't know sounds really um deep for a what <laughs> daily Thursday <laughs> <laughs> at seven to seven after a bottle of Prosecco um, oh, well, Francesca, yeah, like, Fran- it's not Fran- it's just, Francesca- it's just something that I always well, really wanted to at some point um, pass on to other youngsters and I think I probably did it started doing it much earlier than I thought I think I was maybe 24 25 when we launched our theatre school so it's a bit like well who am I to be teaching these youngsters I'm only 25 um but actually the experience that I got like we realized very quickly how young kids just absolutely you know sapped it up and it, and it is a fantastic school it's a particularly good school where I think um just from the stuff that I've seen, the students do feel like they're part of a tread family. I know yeah, that's... they're part of a family with us. Yeah. So they, you know, they we we've ha- we have other teachers, other tutors, and who you don't rip us. people off. That's that's really important. Like there's some stage schools out there that absolutely rip people off, and and you guys don't. You know, there's there's no, places we... out there that will say to parents, "Oh, pay us yeah. two hundred pounds, and we'll put your kid's face on our books." And no. you guys, you really are a champion of kind of no, uh, teaching it's... people. And yeah, we we really do try to keep it affordable for every child. You know, so yeah. it's inclusive for everybody. It's so important, I think, with the arts that yeah, it's accessible for for people from all backgrounds. You know, Graham, my husband, will state, you know, he was from a, a background where he would never have been able to afford to go to things like what I was fortunate enough to be part of yeah so um yeah that's a really big thing for us making sure that everybody can access can, can, I, just, can I just chime in there Ellen I mean just because yeah. I really identify with that and um, when I was younger very similar to yourselves I went to like a drama school where you would um, so I'd go to my normal school and then on an evening I think twice a week I'd go and do acting singing and dancing and I stopped when I was like 14. And those kind of four years when I stopped doing that, before I went back to it, do you know, I noticed that my, like my school grades went downhill and everything kind of corresponded with that because yeah. I didn't have that kind of something to focus on. It's a focus, isn't it? it? I, think, yeah. I think it's vital that, that young people nowadays have something external absolutely yeah yeah Yeah. absolutely because it it really does filter into their education you know we've we've had kids who are actually really talented musicians and they've come to us and you know they don't want to be actors but they've just literally found confidence through what we provide to be able to go and stand on a stage and play the guitar or sing or play the piano or whatever it is um um, you know, we've had su- such lovely sort of success stories over the years of our students who have gone on to be successful actors. They've gone on to drama school. They're in the industry now. Um, but yeah, just for us personally, the real success stories are those kids who came to us who like were so lacking in confidence and just didn't believe in, in anything and within themselves. And then just through the power of putting them on stage and them having mm. to 
deliver under that pressure they've been able to go on and do amazing things it can change everything for them i think that what you and graham are doing is just it's just so important it's just well it's it's not i don't i would never take credit personally like i don't Mm -hmm. i just feel like it's the power of the arts like that so what we'll do is we'll get yeah we'll get those like you said you're making it accessible and affordable which is yeah. really, really important it, it's wonderful we can that. put mike the tech guy i'm sure can put those links on on he's saying yes and um, we can put those links on the um the page and then anyone can kind of have a look and and a, and a look at what you do and see if it's for them we've yeah, got another question you. from francesca Wynn, who says she met you lee at a charity do oh. um, she said to all of you what do your families think of you working on a soap and did any of them ask you for your autograph now I'm going to take this question because I don't know if you two remember. At my wedding, um, my auntie Betty featured in my dad's speech because he actually said in the speech, Auntie Betty, do not go and ask all those people from Hollyoaks for their autographs. <laughs> my dad's speech was so awesome because he was like, um, so I think at the, our wedding was uh, very private but because we've got big families had to like quite a lot of people there and there was a couple of tables of people from Hollyoaks and in my dad's speech he said Kelly's been lucky enough to work with some fantastic actors over the years unfortunately none of them could be here tonight <laughs> oh my dad was yes, Francesca my auntie Betty I'm pretty sure my dad confiscated her camera at my wedding because she was going around taking pictures with everyone and then the other one was not quite asking for our autographs you went to the soap awards quite a few years and they were always mad and um, one year i took my best friend mel campbell and um i lost her for two hours i lost her and for the first hour i was fine because i was absolutely hammered fangirling over uh, brenda blethin going oh my god brenda you're so amazing yeah, and I she was like that. Hey. yeah and she was like really politely going oh yeah yeah but i'm sure she was thinking frig off and then uh, we lost mel for like two hours and i found i was like where have you been and she was like blah 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 and it was in it was this far ago that you had to get the camera developed. That's how long ago it was. It wasn't a digital camera. You had to go and take yeah. it to film. And I have and, teams of actual photographs yes. from so our Yes, that series. camera told us where Mel had been for two hours. And it was like, Mel with a picture with somebody from Emmerdale. Mel and some... <laughs> oh, I know this story. Yeah, you told me this before. <laughs> so, Francesca, maybe not family members with me, but certainly family members with like people that I would consider as friends but maybe are to some celebrities I suppose um another question Kieran Spencer hello Kieran hey. uh, I think it's just your fans tonight Lee are, they, are these all your mates Lee? I paid them all I yeah paid yeah them I just paid them to watch the show and ask <laughs> you my questions. mates I look like I've got no mates whatsoever no one sent me a question Helgs, Helgs your mates are here <laughs> <laughs> that's true um Kieran says if you could only, if you own, if, shouldn't have drank the bottle of Prosecco. That's not what I've said. <laughs> if you could only give your budding students one piece of advice, what would, and then he, he stops and starts a new question, it be. <laughs> <laughs> students, um, one piece of advice. Be yourself. Don't, yeah, no, um, think, yeah um, be you. Yeah, don't, don't be um, too attached to the end game. You know, it's like a lot of a lot of students kind of come to us and say, well, I'm not getting the, you know, they said, you know, if, if you're not getting the results or you're not getting the parts from auditions, then do you, and I'm like, why would you ever want to stop? You know, yeah. if you love acting and you love going to class yeah. and you enjoy performing, even if it's just in front of 30 people, yeah, why would you only want to give up anyway? So it's yeah. just enjoy the experience. Don't be attached to any outcomes uh, because if you're doing it right and you put in the hard work, then the rest will follow. Yeah, and I, I would say absolutely that. I think hard work is a, is a, mm. is the key as well. I think we learned yeah. that from being on Hollyoaks. You know, we we did work hard. Hard, didn't we? yeah. Really hard. Yeah. Um, unbelievable. Like when you think the amount of hours we put in, and um, we were saying earlier, I think we were most of the time very professional as mm. well. Um, but yeah, that, we were. Mo- yeah, a lot of the, all of the time, apart from like the one odd time. A few times. Yeah. Well, we won't mention those again. No. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, no, I just think hard work is the key yeah. as well. I think you can't just float through an industry like this either. Yeah. You have to really put the work and the dedication into it. And I think unless you 100% 
want it, um, yeah, just be prepared for the ride ahead because it is a ride. Exactly, yeah. I, mean, I think you just worded that perfectly, Helen. Yeah, completely. completely Lovely. Completely, completely so, agree with all that. Guys, thank you so much for coming on. That's oh, us, like, done. Oh, like, like, it's well, last yeah. orders at the bar. I really enjoyed oh, that. <laughs> well, let's hope the one person still watching does. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't actually know how many people are watching, so. Um, I, I'll leave uh, Mike, the tech guy, to deal with all of that. Um, but thank you so much, and it's been amazing chatting to you. Thanks for having us, Kel. Okay, Carol. so next week, so though, nice. um, can we say a quick hello to who's on next week? So, oh, you're doing the links for me, are you? You're trying to get a job? No, because <laughs> no, I just want to say, Alex is on next week, isn't he? Yes, so, yeah, thanks, it. Lee, thanks. I was waiting for you to piss off before I said it, but that's okay. Um, so, ne with... yeah, next week's show, we have the delightful Alex Carter, who played Lee Hunter, <laughs> and the brilliantly balmy and beautiful Gemma Atkinson, who played Lisa Hunter. So there'll probably be fair amounts of stories and probably a lot of swearing in there. Um, but yeah, so guys, thank you so much for joining us. And don't thank forget you to you like all those watching at home, like and subscribe to the show to get future updates of who's on next. And that's it. We're done. It's last orders at the bar. So we'll see you very soon. Thank you very much. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.